Hi, welcome to iPad Worse. If I get to the end of this without fluffing it, I swear to God, this is take a billion and Madam Director is so close to stoving my head in, it's unbelievable. Holston Pills. Um, I found this in an offy in Oswestry. It's a 500ml can. It's 5% uh, my volume. Um, and although it says Hamburg, Germany, this one was brewed in Europe for Holston Pills. So I have no idea where it's coming from. Let's get it open, let's get it into the glass. Let's see what it tastes like. Uh, I remember this had a, um, a great advertising campaign with Jeff Goldblum. Um, and one of the advertising slogans was guaranteed no pilchards, uh, which always used to make me laugh. I've read the back of this can, still no pilchards, so that's good. Okay. How do you remember that? Because it was funny. <laughs> I do remember that. Because it was funny. Okay, just, it's childish, but funny. So we have a typical lager, crystal clear, light carbonation, sort of fluffy white head, which is sort of dissipating, sticking to the glass a little bit. Okay. So. Bready, biscuit. A little bit of metallic on the nose, a bit of coppery. We'll let that sort of dissipate for a bit and we'll see what we get. Yeah, it's gone now. It's sort of paling to sort of just a typical bready lager aroma. Okay, cheers. So that malt is carried through. It's quite a thin mouthfeel. Slight sort of malty bitterness that pales to sort of coppery coins. Oh dear. <laughs> it's really thin, okay. Just check the date, just make sure it's not been sitting in a warehouse. Okay, July 2021. Mm. Okay, so if I had to you push me now for a recommendation, not as good, not as good as I remember. Okay. So you wouldn't know this is a 5%. This is, uh, it's quite that thin feel. It's quite innocuous to drink. Um, and that copiness on the back end. It's dissipating a little bit now, going to biscuit. Okay. So I'm kind of wondering, hmm. So I had been reviewing Aldi's Galahad before this, and you know, you'd think that going up in strength, I think that's a 4%, this is a 5 and I kind of arrange things through my videos, stepping up in strength. And I was expecting this one to blast, you know, all over the Galahad, you know, cleanse my palate, and think I'd be able to tell you that, wow, this is fantastic. But, making you wait now. Okay, um, Aldi's Galahad is better than Holston Pills. Wow, um, when I bought these and I was planning my videos, I didn't think I'd be saying that. Now, is this because I said modern lagers are better? This is an old recipe? Don't know what I'm saying here, really. I really am shocked. I expected this one to be you know, the beer that I kind of remember. Although we're talking, oh, I haven't had a Holston Pulse for over 20 years, if not m more than that. Um, I suppose you might have had it on tap as well, which is, might. It used to come in bottles. Did it? Yeah, small little uh, 330ml bottles, I think. I'm quite disappointed with that. Okay, Holston Pulse. I can't recommend this one, um, and 
if you offered me a Galahad over this, I'd take the Galahad. Everybody's flavour palette is different, but having done them with these reviews back to back, that's what my palette is telling me. Um, uh, so, let me know what you think. Um, Am I a complete idiot for you know, expose, uh, you know, extolling the virtues of a supermarket budget lager? Um, you know, when was the last time you tried Holston Pills? Tell me what you think. Uh, mm, I think just over a pound of tin. So I haven't been robbed, but it's not brilliant. There you go. Nostalgia. Not as good as you think it's going to be. Cheers.